So let's jump right into it. Uh, we're going to be talking about A Wrinkle in Time. Um, we might have some spoilers. We might not have some spoilers. There are uh, spoilers. It's a book that's been out for a really long time. I think it came out in 62, I yeah, want to say. Yeah, it's been out for over 50 years. So uh, That's why I haven't gotten around reading it yet. It's just, it's <laughs> too soon. Too so soon. Um, if, if it's something that you absolutely know nothing about, then maybe don't watch this but uh, we're trying not to put too many big spoilers in here so that you can still enjoy the film um if this uh, conversation actually convinces you to watch it because that's what we're gonna that's where we're gonna be discussing right now so uh wrinkle in time big movie uh, just came out uh, this weekend um it's been doing okay in the box office uh but it has not beaten back black panther despite a very good opening night it's kind of dipped a little bit in the numbers. The film is based off of a book, A Wrinkle in Time, that, as Patrick said, came out in the 1960s. Yeah, and he said that. I said I haven't read it. RJ said it. <laughs> <laughs> RJ said it. Patrick said that he hadn't read it. Um, it's just this side of the table is just one person. So okay. You're, you're like two talking heads. I'm, I'm kind of like I'm out one of person. it right now. <laughs> yeah, I'm out of it because yeah. I haven't read the book or seen the movie, so I'm just yeah. going to be like, Dude. So you're just going to help us out. Toodling my phone. You're just going to separate movie. us when it comes to blows. Um, so uh, th this film it is a YA book, a young adult book, um, and it's definitely a film that uh, it's like PG. It's it's for like families and children, like general audiences. Um, it uh, stars uh, several well-known actresses in uh, the role of um, three of uh, the kind of mentors. Like the, the foremost film. actress would be Chris Pine. Mm, if only. Uh, Chris Pine uh, definitely fine. is wearing a lot of makeup and lipstick in this film. Uh, and uh, he has very long hair now for some reason. Uh, but Oprah Winfrey plays Mrs. Witch. Reese Witherspoon plays Mrs. What's It? And Mrs. Who is played by Mindy Kaling. And the star of the film playing Storm Reed uh, playing Meg is Storm Reed. Yeah, playing Storm Reed is Meg. She plays herself. Playing Meg. I like Storm Reed. That's a great character name. That I, is. It's her, it's actually her name. Or a weatherman. Yes. So she's playing herself. I mean, in addition, um, the character of Calvin is played by Levi uh, Miller, uh, Miller, and then uh, Derek McCabe is Charles uh, Wallace, um, and Chris Pine is also in this film. Uh, no, he's not playing a woman. He's Mr. Murray, who is Meg's dad in this film. Uh, so just, just kind of give a premise on this movie for anyone who hasn't seen it so you know what we're talking about. It, it's basically a wormhole movie. It's about traveling through space. Um, and time. They, and they, time. They make sure to put special it, uh, special mention that it's space and time. It's, it's really weird that it's called a wrinkle in time. It should be a wrinkle in space. Yeah, that would make a bit more be, sense. To be honest. But the premise of the story is that... Um, uh, Meg's father, he's a scientist, and he figures out a way to wrinkle time and space, and one day he just goes somewhere and disappears, and no one knows where he is. Then they fast forward four years later, and it's her and her younger brother, who was just a very young child when uh, their father disappeared, and they're trying to just dealing with everyday life, school, friends type Bullying it's also special to mention it's the the fourth anniversary of his disappearance, mm -hmm. yes. which, which does come in uh, comes in a bit exactly four years because they hear on the radio they say it that or the TV or something that that it's been four years. Yeah, um, so that's kind of where the where the story comes in, and then after that, these three magical creatures. Uh, appear to them who look like people except one of them is very very yeah. tall they they don't explain <laughs> this in the movie but i believe in the book they're actually stars yes yeah, stars You're stars right. who took a physical form yes yes um so they appear and they basically tell them their father needs help and they need to go with them to go help find their father and then it's an adventure through space and time after that um so Patrick, I'm going to go to you first with your initial thoughts. I know. Actually, you... no. I, I I'm curious to see. I mean, I, okay. I have a feeling I know but okay. for the listeners because you've already mentioned that there's going to be a fight. Mm. Okay. <laughs> I, I want to. So you want to get. Your... You want to hear each side first before yes. you weigh in, and then I will be the tiebreaker, okay. and then when we need the arbitrator. Okay. So, um, right now, it seems the critical consensus for this film is kind of negative. So let's start with the critic and general audience. Support general audience is 67 percent right now. Oh, did that go Google. up? Is that it on has gone up a little? Is that on uh, what Google? Website is... Oh, through Google. Just to okay. Google, I just quickly saw it when I was looking at the actors' names. So let me um, let me let me first ask this: yes. Both of you have read the book? I have read the book. Okay, that's, I read it important. so long ago. Okay. Yes, I definitely have read the book. Okay. All right, so. Critical consensus is uh, a little bit negative right now. It's in the 40s, I think, on Rotten Tomatoes. 
Um, so it's currently standing because I mean most places use Rotten Tomatoes. So currently, Rotten Tomatoes critical is forty two, mm -hmm. audience is thirty three. Dang, so that's way lower than Google. Yeah, that's Go interesting. Google is usually a really bad yeah. place to get reviews of anything because there's so few people who actually so, use that. Uh, audience two out of three people did not enjoy this movie. Um, let's and see if that shakes out. Let's this way. <laughs> uh, let's see, RJ, if you were which if you were in the two camp or the one out of three. So camp here. for everyone who just heard your description of the movie, the movie doesn't elaborate really. They go from point to point without really much meat to most of the story. My, I think I told you this before. I thought the best way to describe the movie is it's like something you'd find on the Disney Channel mixed with an after school after school special. Mm -hmm. It. I couldn't. I can't see kids enjoying it because the the beginning especially seemed to drag on, and it took a long time to actually get started. And I mean, the target audience is kids. Kids aren't gonna want to get into it. For for the older audience, it's philosophy 101 barely. So I, I I could see kids getting something out of that, kind of learning to kind of expand how they view things. But for anybody else, there's there's not much there for family, and there's not much there for kids. Mm -hmm. I I I I completely, for once, I agree with all the reviews I've been seeing. Is this is this some type of generational gap? Because obviously we have an older book that was released in the '60s, and we have to take in concept. Now, I'm for, I'm for one, I'm kind of neutral on this because I, for one, have not read the book. I I think they do advance and it well enough into present day. They do, yeah. and I'll explain yeah. later how they do that. Okay. <laughs> but but yeah, so that's my that's my thought. Is I I agree with the with the lower reviews. Maybe I don't know if I'd go so far as the general 33% audiences that seem to give it. It's below average, um, kind of kind of slow, very thin story-wise, kind of deep as a puddle. Um, yeah. But All right. Not to go into... I'll let you guys go <laughs> yeah. in before we d begin yeah, discussing yeah. it. Okay, so... Um, so my, which one do you fall into? <laughs> I went into this film uh, with with pretty low expectations, just based on these initial initial um, audience reviews and critic reviews. So I was a little bit worried about the film going in, but I I, I knew that there were still a certain percentage of people who liked the film. I mean, for it to be in the forties on Rotten Tomatoes, that means a little bit less than half people gave it a fresh rating. So a lot of people did like the film, and so I'm like, okay, I don't know which camp I'm going to fall in. Um, so. Uh, I sit down in the theater and I start watching the movie and uh, I will agree that the beginning of the film um, might have a little bit of pacing issues, but I feel like I say that about almost every film that I review. There's just something about me in the beginning of films that I just, I, I always have problems with the beginning. Uh, Rogue One, Black Panther, two films I enjoyed. I don't like the way either of those films begin. Um, and A Wrinkle Time, I wouldn't say it was as extreme as those two films, I just thought it was just that there were just a slightly a few things more that they should have done differently at the beginning, and I'll get into that more specifically that would have made it better and stronger at the beginning. Um, but once the film really got into its actual plot and the swing of things, and they were finished with the exposition of the characters. Curious, when would you say that was? Um, I would say that it was probably a good 15, 20 or what, minutes. What, what, what event would you say is when they started getting into it? Um, I, I think that ugh, probably after Calvin shows up after Calvin shows up and maybe a little bit after that it, because cuz cuz up until the point that Calvin shows up I had some I had a problem with the way that they did that and I and basically I'll just say it right now I thought that when they were in the the, the schoolyard and there was kind of the altercation and and Meg uh, throws the the ball at, in the girl's face see now I would say it doesn't yeah. And before before we get into full discussion, I would say it doesn't start until they go to leave that first planet where the flower creatures mm, are. Yeah. See, I disagree with that. I think they already got got way into. I think it got deeper after that. Just like movies like Rogue One, you know, like the third act is like the best act. I feel like that act that started the best part of the film. But still, the middle part for me, it did not drag. I thought it was it was decent. But yeah, no, I thought I thought that. Um, in that scene with Meg and and, and the girl um, at the beginning of the schoolyard, I felt like we should have seen Calvin. If we saw him in the, I don't know if we saw him in the background we or did. not. We did. It yeah. was not clear enough to me. Like I, because I, I, I didn't remember it. And then when Calvin shows up again, I'm like, who's this guy? Well, I mean, he had he had a good like five seconds on the screen time, kind of. It wasn't reacting. Yeah, to it. It, I, unfortunately, 
I missed it, and I don't know how many people missed it, but that's just a personal thing. Like, I just think that they should have done a little bit more with him. I don't know. Oh, yeah, and I'm not disagreeing yeah, with their. Yeah, I'm just saying yeah. he, he did have they should have, time, yeah. I think just having him show up at that point, like, I felt like they should have had a little bit more exposition with his character, either by showing him maybe saying with a speaking line or something. Or something or, the book would have helped with Exactly, explaining. yeah. But I thought that's an easy thing that you can do. So that's one of the things I don't like about the film, yeah. just of three things. But okay, so I don't, you yeah. do... Before we go further in, well, no, I gotta, I gotta continue. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, gotta oh continue. you do have more. Okay, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, basically, at this point, um, you know, I'm like, okay, this is other than the, this these minor things, uh, the film like is is getting me like, and and I, it's like I I I feel everything I should feel watching a movie. Like I understand everything, and I feel for the characters, and I feel like I'm in a movie, and I'm not taken out of it, and I'm not like analyzing in my in my head, like, and the thing that I just really liked about it is that I felt like the kind of the crux of the film was taking some really complex philosophical and metaphysical concepts and really, really simplifying them to a point where like a five-year-old would understand it. And that's the whole time I was watching this film, I was kind of, I was, I was analyzing it myself trying to figure out, okay, what are the things, what are, what are kind of like the, um, what's kind of like the, the <laughs> ideology behind this film. And then I'm analyzing that as an adult, but then I'm also analyzing how would a kid react to it and uh basically I, I felt like a kid would understand all the the ideology and like what what it's all meant to express through the characters and the events in this film and i was like that's fantastic that's really cool because this is stuff that i know personally this is stuff that i really got into it as an adult this is stuff that i didn't understand fully until like only a few years ago and i'm still like kind of learning about who I am and my connection to kind of like the universe and like what love really is and like all that stuff. I'm still learning that. And I feel like for kids to be exposed to that type of stuff in a story like this, compared to so many stories that come out that are for kids, this is a lot deeper, a lot more complex, and they're going to learn a lot more from something like this. And I understand why that might seem like not a deep enough film when you're looking at it kind of a, as a critic it may not seem deep enough for the characters might seem a little bit cardboard but that's the point this is not a character based film this is a film that is a, a metaphysical journey film and i felt like it did its job with that by using the character as meg as the centerpiece to experience everything and then everything else is kind of like just kind of playing off of her and so i don't know it worked for me it worked for me okay all right Tiebreaker time. Yes. So as Chris knows, I like everything. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I avoided like any of the reviews or what anybody was saying because yeah. having not read the book and having the like, previous conversations we had of whether this would be good or bad, I just went in completely, complete clean slate with the exception of seeing the trailer a couple times. Yeah. And I was, I got to say, I was underwhelmed. Interesting. I didn't hate it, but it just wasn't what I thought it was going to be. And... Now, full disclosure, I had a flat tire this morning, so I got in there a few <laughs> oh, minutes man. late. Mm. And like you were saying, it just jumps from point to point to point. I started to think, I think I missed more of this movie. Like, I think I missed a lot of it. So I hung around and waited for the next showing to see how much I missed. And I only missed a couple minutes. Wow. But I was like, why does the little kid seem to know everything? Like, what have mm. I missed about him that makes him so important? And then towards the end, when they're like, you brought him to us. I'm like, oh, he must be really important. I need to watch the beginning of this movie. It, it seemed like it just – certain parts of it just kind of sped through, and what it felt like to me was I felt like maybe if I had read this, I would have liked it more in that I'm watching – well, I, fit, I actually thought I would have a stronger opinion one way or another. Mm. Either I would be watching a beloved book come to life on the screen in a way I never could have imagined, or I'd be sitting here going, they got everything wrong. Mm. But, <laughs> but having not read it, it was just – eh, you know. Yeah, I, I, I didn't hate it, but I definitely left thinking, I'm, now I'm going to read the book. And watch it again so that I can have an opinion. That's 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 a really good point, and that and obviously that's something that I can't speak to because it, I know the story very well, and this is one of the most vivid stories from my childhood. Yeah. Like there are very specific details of the story that I remember extremely well. Because, it felt like they spent more time yeah. going like, "How are we going to take this scene, and what you know, how are we going to make it look?" Mm -hmm. And yeah. having not read the the book, it just this film. I, didn't do a whole lot for me. Like, I didn't leave there going, I, I mean, the can't wait to see it again. The, the visuals, visuals were great. great. But it, it felt like that was the movie. It was watch us go from this cool place with this cool visual effect. And as far as, like, to, it, to dragging, the next, to the next, I actually the felt like they got into, like, uh, what did they, uh, what was it calling? They call it not 
the, the tesseract, tesseract, but what was it? What was it when they were they tessering? Tessering. Yes. I felt like that happened too soon. I'm like, yeah. we're already going. Like, <laughs> yeah. It, it to me, it felt like if I had sat down for Lord of the Rings and they said instead of making three four hour movies, we're going to do this whole thing in an hour and a half, <laughs> and it just opens with, well, we got to take this ring. <laughs> it, it, it could have potentially benefited from a little bit stronger character development at the beginning of the movie on Earth first, yeah. yes. so that you felt more for the characters when yeah. they started going on this experience. Ha having missed a I few minutes, I felt like I missed a lot because I didn't yeah. know why I was supposed to care about That's anybody. Interesting. It was just, we're just going. You know, we're yeah. going. Um, so there was that. You, and you then, really don't start, for me, the real caring for the characters, it, 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 it was a work in progress throughout the film. It yeah. wasn't something that was immediately there because you didn't have that time to get to know them. You got to know them kind of through the adventure, mm -hmm. which may or may not have been a good choice, especially if that's how you reacted to it. Yeah. It didn't, it didn't get super interesting to me until, um, until they got to the beach. Yeah. Wow. And that's obviously when, towards, towards the, the end of the movie. Like, I was, it was, it was that's okay. When I, I was kind of like, when, where are we going with this? this because for the, me, it was like, there was like, oh, there's this, there's this enemy, this, this antagonistic force. And yeah. It's like, okay. Oh, we actually get to see this antagonistic force other than this huge planet disaster. So mm -hmm. it's like, okay, we're actually going to see some conflict now. Mm -hmm. And then. Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah, because because all the characters, you know, they're they're just puppets of this right. the it, and that's what they're showing there is that it's not actually that guy with the red eyes, you know. And from yeah. from from that point on the beach to when we'll just say till when the enemy was defeated, yeah. I really enjoyed, but it also happened pretty quick, and then I was like, that's it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then the movie was over, and I was yeah. like, okay, I'm not sure how I feel about this. Interesting. And so this is something they mentioned in the book, but not in the movie. You said it felt like the little brother there knew everything. He's psychic. Oh. Like, you could kind of pick that up, but I also thought, am I supposed to assume he's psychic, or were they just being lazy and he's not psychic? It, it, it just seems like in, it. In the book, it is more... I mean, there are actual lines where where they'll say, like, it almost felt like he knew what I was thinking. And yes. Stuff like that, where it doesn't, like, shove and, it in your and, face, and but it, it does it reference it. It made sense, it. because when I went back to watch the beginning, and she said that, you know, I know... Having not seen this, I wish I'd seen this one piece. The rest, when she comes downstairs, and I was like, "Why didn't you come up?" And he was like, "Cause I knew you'd come down." I was like, mm. "Ah, okay." Yeah, that but they, they tried, but, like that. but they yeah. didn't. They didn't do like enough, or it. You know, I I will give it the benefit of the doubt. It might be because I knew he was psychic, so because right. I already knew it, I didn't catch. Like I caught that one at the beginning, but I didn't think there was enough. It might have just been because I already knew, so I didn't think to look for more. Mm. Mm -hmm. I, I thought I was paying close enough attention, but maybe if maybe well, if I hadn't known, he could have been psychic. Been From my point of view, he could have been psychic, or, or we've skipped four years of his life. Maybe she always comes downstairs when he's up, and he's just you know he knows yeah. she, he really does know she's yeah. going to. So hmm. I felt like I had missed the whole reason why he was important to the end of the story when they were like you know you brought him right to us. I was like, why does see, he see, matter? I thought I thought the reason why he was important was just because he was so brilliant. Like, that's what I was going through as kind of a secondary thing other than the psychic things where you don't have to kind of realize that. Right. It's just because they, they portray him as just being a brilliant child and a special yes. child. Yes. And it's kind of similar to, I don't know, like Ender from Ender's Game or whatever, someone like that who's just a prodigy. And But then I also didn't feel like I understood why the it... What what did the it need with a brilliant child? Like, what's the plan? What's well, the see, I was assuming that the it just wants everybody. Well, I think yeah, okay. I think in the book it, it wasn't did, just him. He was just the only one he could get. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, and I think that was part of it in the book yeah. because he was so brilliant because he had the special ability. Yeah, that's part of why it wanted him because yeah. it was this powerful tool. Yeah, and then I I don't remember from the book. So with the scene when they when they're separated from the misses mm -hmm. and they're on three of the three kids are on the planet alone and then the field suddenly erupts into a bunch of trees. Right. In the in the book, were they separated like that? The younger brother. And I, the I, that's one thing that when I saw it on the screen, I'm like, I can't. I have no memory of this happening so, this way. So. And and then it comes down to okay, yeah. maybe it was like that in the book, but that's as far true. as far as just the movie alone, and especially when you got to the end, that part didn't make sense because I get why you'd separate the younger brother yeah. because he wanted the younger brother, but then yeah. it made it clear that it also wanted sister it wants so, everybody so, so, but it but it yeah. wanted her especially like over over her friend it wanted those two siblings especially yeah so why didn't it separate those two apart rather than separate the two i, I figured that that it figured that the way to get to the other two is by getting to the younger brother first but it allowed it but he was by himself for a while 
Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I, yeah, I, it was. I think I think that I, it made sense to me when I was watching it. Like, I, don't I understood know, that, that part. That part seemed odd to me. That once they got separated, like we have to find him. Let's catapult over the wall. <laughs> and my brother's missing, but let's stop to wash our clothes. <laughs> I, I I laughed at that part <laughs> because she sees something get picked up in the tornado and then shot out, and then you can see what they were intending to be like. She's calculating something, yeah. Yeah. but it it's like okay. There's no way you could know where it's going to shoot off because yeah, it's completely she, random. And then she it, says, like, this is the only way. There were, to me, I, I didn't buy it. There was no reason for her to know that there was no other way to get it. Like, I, I, like, I, I could see her getting say, shot off the other way. That will work. It's another thing to say nothing else will work. No, I think, I think what she, she meant was that if they just stay there, they're not going to outrun it. So the only way that they could potentially survive is if they get thrown to safety. Well, well, she doesn't well, know that they're going to get thrown to safety. She just knows they need to get out of there. Well, no, she only... knows that she needs to get over the, because they're saying you have to get past the wall, and she sees yeah. it get launched over and, the and wall. And she doesn't specifically know that it, it, it's going to get launched over the wall. She just knows that's a, that's a, a, well, an option. But after happen. afterwards, he come. He's like, "How did you know that?" She's just like, "You know, physics." Yeah, but she's talking about just the circular mention, and she calls it a slingshot and stuff. Like she yeah. means she knows it's going to get hurled. I don't think she knows what direction in, but she just knows like, well, if this thing hurls us away from it then it's better than staying here and getting pounded yeah. by which, which, the debris. Which, uh, like, if she had seemed ambivalent about that or kind of, like, guessy about it, like, it, it made it come off where she was, where the movie made it seem like she knew that would happen. Yeah, I don't and know I mean, if I felt that way. Yeah. But, yeah. Yeah. That could have just been how I was reading yeah, it. But that, that, that part, <laughs> yeah. I, that part made me laugh because I was like, right before it showed her landing on the wall, it literally showed huge chunks of debris slamming into the wall. So, so it was right like, before that was one of the, mo one of the second moment of three in the film that I thought wasn't done super well that could have been improved was when she testers onto that planet and it's a field at first they kind of cut right from her going into the tester to like out of it and there's still kind of music and stuff i felt like it was paced too quickly and they should have just paused for a second and had kind of silence as she was just laying there for a little bit while she was disoriented instead of having her go like right into well i thought that part wasn't because she was supposed to be disoriented because she didn't but they didn't i don't feel like they showed that well enough well, because you yeah. you just said you thought it should have been a cleaner cut. No, not a cleaner cut. It should have it should have been longer. Longer. There yeah. should have been some space to breathe no, there. Well, but I yeah. think that's the point. Is she yeah. didn't have a chance to breathe. This is this is this yeah. we, like everyone else is able sense. to do it easily. So I mean, this is yeah. disruptive for her. She's yeah. she's completely pulled. Well, when out I of say breathe, there. I don't mean physically breathe. I well, mean no, just I as mean, an audience. I, I felt like there should have been kind of a moment of recollect, like to collect your brain a little bit while you're watching it before going right into. What's going on? So on for the audience to basically decompress. Yes, to decompress because it's so fast-paced yeah. up until that point. Because it's funny, I did. I thought that was one of the few points it did well. Uh, interesting. <laughs> just kind of fitting with it. Yeah, but... yeah. So um, and then just kind of the third thing, kind of going towards kind of like the ending of the movie. I mean, the movie had a very kind of emotional multi-climax thing that a lot of films have towards the end. And uh, I don't know. I felt like the shot um, when uh, spoiler alert, fast forward. 15 seconds if you haven't seen this the shot where <laughs> the, the 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 mother sees the father again for the first time after four years i they cut to her after she already had the reaction on her face i felt like they should have had the camera on her while she was like mm -hmm. neutral faced and then having the reaction if they had cut to it like a few seconds earlier i felt like it would have been a stronger yeah. portrayal well it's kind of like patrick was saying it. Yeah. some parts seemed rushed yeah. Yeah. and i did and i mean this part is more def this is definitely a personal gripe yeah but with the um with the uh okay when when she's actually in the in the entity and it's like i am the darkest mind in the universe yeah and then she starts getting bullied it's like i guess this is a kid movie but you think like the darkest mind in the universe would show her like her family being disemboweled in front of her well, again, it's, it, but, it's but it comes down to it's a kid's movie, movie and, it's, and the point is to show that there's a line that, that's of good not, and evil it, between every person. Yeah, and it, it's, it's not evil, a complaint I have with the movie. Evil is portrayed in a very kind of like yeah. way that a kid can grasp. Yeah, in it's, it's, film, it's not a complaint like I have with the movie. It's and, just like I was just like, yeah, that's not that dark. But no, it's not. It's not. oh no no. But but yeah. I I don't hold that against the movie. because yeah. that's just no. It would be interesting to see if this movie was made for like teens and adults. How how different it would be. Yeah. Um. But. Yeah, so I, I guess kind of final thoughts on this movie. Uh, it looks like we are just like the, the audience scores um, on Rotten Tomatoes. Two against. One person thought it was a good movie, two people were very... I'll give it a second shot after a But you're going to give it a second yeah. shot.